one. So, we're going to be talking about some ableism today. So, hi everyone. My name is Amy Stone. I'm 26 years old, and ableism is a very important concept for me because I have cerebral palsy and I am affected in all four limbs. To me, coming from my wheels, ableism is just another word for discrimination. And it gives a name to the stereotype and stigmas that I deal with every day. And honestly, I think it just needs to stop. And we're going to get into how to do that in a couple of the next slides. So there's two different ways of looking at um, disabilities. There's pretty much two different models. There's the medical model and then there's the social model. The medical model basically states that the issue is more with the person. So we will go in the medical model, we will go through treatment, we will go through a bunch of different therapies, we will also, sometimes this leads us to feeling like we're less than the rest of the able-bodied population versus the social model that says the issue lies in the environment. So it's fixing things like countertops that are too high. Um, Like how how we treat people in the disability community. So countertops are too high, bathrooms that are not accessible, curbs that don't have curb cuts, and that kind of stuff. And as we go into the next slide, we're gonna look at how it affects my day my daily life. it affects me in my day-to-day -day life. So, in other words, how people treat me. So, belief or lack of belief in people with uh, disabilities. A lot of bathrooms that are inaccessible restaurants that just don't really have the space for us. This list that is on the screen is pretty extensive, but the ones that drive me crazy the most is just how people seem to either sweep disabilities under the rug and pretend they don't exist and like not starting the conversation. The worst thing you could ever do is not talk about disabilities with your families or loved ones. And also be examples friends. So like make sure you're not excluding people. But my next slide, we're going to start a conversation, my friends. When you're with your family around the dinner table or lunch table or work table or whatever table you are around, you can always start the conversation by asking what are some Tell me about the time that you saw ableism. How did it make you feel? And are you committed 
drinking change. Basically, friends, don't be afraid to talk. Here we go. Here's the important part, friends. Ways to prevent it. So, we know what happens. It's going to happen no matter if we want it to or not. How we approach it is what matters. Talk about it with your, if, talk about it with the kids. If you have kids, you're responsible for just allow them to ask you questions. And if you don't know the answer, research it. That if you take anything from this presentation, no question from a child is offensive. Questions from adults that don't seem to understand because they don't care are the offensive questions. Questions from a kid that doesn't understand are actually quite cute. So let them ask. Most people will take time to answer a kid's question. But if you are not around a lot of disabled individuals and your kids have questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I will try and make a video answering your loved one's question. Thank you for helping me create a more inclusive and understanding world. One, one day, one conversation at a time. Thank you guys for watching.